Let's turn this Schwinn trike into an e-trike. I ordered a 1000 watt front hub conversion kit through AliExpress, so it shipped out of China. Cost me a couple extra bucks to get it here, but that's life living on the island of Kauai. Building an e-bike is a great project to do with your kids. It provides an opportunity to learn both mechanical and electrical skills, plus it's just a fun project to do. I've ordered several of these front wheel hub conversion kits from China before using AliExpress and I've been pleased with the way they pack everything up as well as the quality of the wheel itself. It looks like everything's here, now just to get it unpacked and get it all laid out. With the kit, you get the front wheel itself, so it comes with the rim, the inner tube, the tire, and of course the motor in the center. And then you got the motor controller. From there, all the wires go out to the different components of the bicycle. And in this case, this is a 1000 watt motor controller. Being able to put out 13 amps. And then from there, you can see we've got, that's the pedal assist controller on the bottom there, and that's the throttle. You can see the brake components in the middle there. There's part of the power cord that they provided. I ultimately modified that. And then these are the cables that run to the controller and to the wheel itself. You got the rest of the throttles. There's an LCD display up in the top right. And then they give you some cable covers and zip ties and stuff to put it all together. To match with this, I also, through AliExpress to China, ordered an e-bike battery. And this is a 52 volt battery with 17 and a half amp hours. So this is a pretty good sized battery. Even though this is a 48 volt motor, we're going to over amp it to 52 volts. I didn't want more than a 1000 watt motor because a lot of people are going to be trying out an e-bike for the first time with this one. So the first step is to get that front wheel off and get that new front wheel hub motor on. With these wheel nuts, I just use the wrench to loosen them and then hand loosen them the rest of the way. Now that we've got that wheel on, the next step is to take off the old brakes and put the new brakes on. Although I disconnected the pedal assistance sensor, which you can see plugged in in the top here, I saved it because I'll be reinstalling it a little bit later. After installing the brake levers, it was now time to work on the power supply going to this motor controller. So here you can see that I've gone ahead and soldered in the XT90S connector. And what that does is allows me to connect the 48 volts without getting a spark every time I connect and disconnect it. 
I mounted the motor controller on the outside of the cage as I wanted to preserve all of the cargo carrying capacity and not worry about things bonking into the motor controller. I mounted the motor controller on the outside of the basket and I screwed it into a piece of black painted plywood on the other side of the basket wall. This holds it in place beautifully and keeps the inside of the cargo basket as empty and clean as possible. The lithium battery slides onto a mounting bracket that we screwed into the basket itself. You can see the little metal black strips that come in the center and that provided a perfect place for us to screw the base of the battery into and then it just slides right in and of course you can lock it down so that people can't steal it. It's easy to go ahead and unlock it, pop the battery off and bring it inside for charging. With the motor controller mounted on the outside of the basket and the battery tucked up to the rear of the inside of the basket, the installation is nice and clean and leaves the most space available for your cargo.